Welcome dreamers, welcome to our channel again. Today we're going to be talking about Xbox. The Xbox Series, Series X. X. So we have the box right here. Mm -hmm. The Xbox box box. Actually, you, I want you to like pull up the uh, PS4 box to compare how it's done. Oh yeah, why not? Yeah. So here's the PS4 box. And compare Dang. the Xbox X Series. The PS4 box is huge. His name is Five. God damn it. This is like three fourth the size. <laughs> Wow. So yeah, let's show the back of both. Pretty much just like yeah. How are your dreams? How are your dreams? Whatever this is, that is. Dreamers, beware. Actually, I want you to open it this time. You want me to open it this time? Okay, so let's open the Xbox Series X. I want you to open it like... Why not? Oh, yeah. What does it say? Actually, I like Oh this. my god! Yeah, you actually like the unboxing? Yeah. What does it say? It's like a word ring device. Wow. It says, oh, <laughs> it says, power your dreams. <laughs> Some of the foams. I like the box in this one better. Yeah, the design. It's much more like it's like presentable. Sturdy. It's, it's, like, not, it's, you not that heavy. it's like you got a reward. Yes, yeah, and it's not that heavy too. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you take that out. Too. Definitely the packaging here is it's like a, way better than the PS5. What do you call that? It's like a shawarma. It's like yeah, a, and it's like also standing too. Here we go. Sorry. Yeah, it has its bumpers on its side also. It was wrapped up like a shawarma. I like this part right here. <laughs> oh yeah, you see the green? Yeah, the green is... Look at that, you can see the fan in there too. Yeah. Tilt it over to the camera to show it. So you can see yeah, go ahead, show the camera. Show the camera, peak. Show the people in the camera what's inside. Yeah, it's curved. And we've got a lot of circles for exhaust. Yeah, because there's a fan much. right here. Yeah, it looks like it's an exhaust. Yeah, on top of it. So yeah, it, it has this one in here. It shows the the functions, the the what is this, the, the apps map. and stuff like that for Xbox, the functions and all the controllers and stuff like that. So yeah, on a different compartment, oh, they, they, they put the um, the manual, the cables, with the uh, yeah power outlet, the power HDMI outlet. cable, and the controller itself. You know what, I gotta say, um, the packaging in the Xbox is much more uh, presentable uh, yeah, really. than the PS5. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised by it. And it comes with a battery. I'm not sure if the PS5 has a battery on it. No, no, PS5 is wireless, guys. Okay. So there's no there's no battery for PS5. Xbox is the only one using uh, batteries. We got like, batteries! Batteries! We have some two um, yeah, door two, cells. Yeah, it comes with two door cell AA batteries. So I'm just gonna put this to the side, so you know, just present the Xbox. Look at that, it just closes just like that. Yeah, it's very neat, small, not that um, yeah. really hard to carry. Yeah, definitely. It's yeah. never the fancy, it's not fancy then, not that fancier than PS5, but... Um, Look at that, it doesn't even require a third wire, there's no, because it's not rechargeable. Yeah. But you can plug it in on the... USB. If you saw on the back, let's look at the back actually. So, if you notice this one, John Lloyd, right here, mm -hmm. this is basically the memory card of the Xbox. You could buy it's called a priority card. I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but I'll show it up. Pop it up in the corner. So you put it right in there, and that's where you. That's like a memory card, like PlayStation Two memory cards. Mm -hmm. That's how you put your, you know, your storage data. Mm -hmm. Unlike the. Booster, right? No, not really. Well, yeah, basically for you have to do it for Xbox Series X games, not the. It helps load up the games faster. Okay. Um, other question for me. Um, can you also um, put it horizontally? Yes, yeah. I can see that there's the. Yeah, uh, there's bumpers. So you bumpers can inside. Like that. So, you so can what do you need? Okay, so I have a look though. And the exhaust will be in the back. Yeah. Okay, and here, over here. Can this come off? Mm, no, um, it doesn't come off because there's grills there. Yeah, it doesn't come off. You're not supposed to take it off. Yeah, that's what they said. <laughs> yeah, because they said that requires a lot of tampering to deal with. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the only issue with this box. You're going to see this part right here. I mean, it doesn't look attractive sideways, right? What do you think? I mean, it has the bumpers, but does it look attractive to you? I mean, look at the Xbox logo. It's kind of crooked. Yeah. It looks like one of those boxes where you store the cake in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, like, okay, this time we're gonna compare the Series X to the uh, previous. Oh, you want to see the console size? Like Goldilocks. Yeah. Goldilocks. Goldilocks and cake box. Because I would say this box seems very simple. Oh, you want it sideways? All sideways? Yeah, yeah you, you can put it like where you can. for now? Okay. Yeah. 
So let's do it vertical. And then do it. So we got the Xbox Series X. And, and then you got the Xbox One X. Then the Xbox One S. One S. <laughs> Xbox. Here's the Xbox One S. And now the Xbox One. That one don't stand on its side, sadly, I think. Right? Oh. Does it? Does it? No, it's not. There's like no mat in here. So you have to be Oh yeah, because it comes with a stand, right? Does it come with a stand to stand on sideways, please? Um Do you think it stands sideways? We see the rubbers. Check. There's no There's rubbers. No rubbers in the, on the, on the, well none of them do. I don't think so. Because they all have their own stands. Does it have fans? No, they all they're all the same. They're all the same. So yeah, just stand it on the side anyway so we can, you know, see the difference of the evolution. This one is the Xbox One, the first of its generation. It came out like 2012, no, 2013 or 12, I don't know which year. This one is the Xbox One S, which this was the upgrade to this one, which I think it came out 2016 or 17, I don't remember. But this one came out 2017, the Xbox One X. It's the new, it's the upgrade upgrade. Basically this one is like an in-between of this and this. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, think it's like the I noticed that this one is tilted to the right and this one left. Right. Yeah. And then let's try it sideways, I guess. Yeah. Vertical, vertical. Horizontal, sorry. Horizontal. You want to, you want to pile, let's just pile it on top of each other. Yeah. <laughs> just, just power it. Xbox X axis. There you so go. Right. So look at that. <laughs> so big. Yeah, Hold the boxes here. It's this big. is actually heavy. That's heavy, right? Do you want to put it um, underneath yeah. the, the wagon? Does that make it X axis? What? That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> <box X-axis. laughs> so unlike the uh, Sony, yeah, look at the measurement. Let's measure that. Unlike the Sony PS5, they actually make it more simpler. Yeah. Than the previous uh, consoles. Yeah, they made they made this console really simple. simple. Like, it's just like a simple like, box. It's like a PC, right? Yeah. There's no um, what do you call it? Curve on this on the uh, edges or the corners. Yeah. It's a simple. And it's like, I think their, their objective here is like, simple is beautiful. Yeah. Still looks like a refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost it's like a speaker like a... to me, it's like a regular speaker. Yeah, speaker. yeah you can say yeah. that for speaker. Or like Xfinity that, router. the weight of it, yeah. yeah. And like, when you, when you notice, like whenever you put your fingers on it. Like, yeah, I know, it's, like, it, it's so... Yeah. It really shows your fingerprints, that's yeah. the only it's issue like with very this. very matte and big and black. Yeah. Why yeah. not? Let's, let's compare it. In white, this is black. This is black. Oh yeah, that's no, that one is white. Yeah. <laughs> it's black. Yeah, it's, it's simple. So weird. <laughs> that's stylish and this like simple is beautiful. Yeah. Kind of thing. Simple is beautiful. Beauty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but but the packaging, I would give this one like an A plus. Unlike the Okay, so yeah, the so PS5 the packaging is like of, uh B plus. It's a B plus yeah, on the PS5. Yeah. Because they ripped up. It's right very in the fragile and um, so uh, this yeah. one has its own compartment when we open it from the box while the uh, PS5 is just like right on top of the box, right on top of the console. So, okay, so, so they yeah. definitely changed the, um, the arrow here, yeah. the circle now, like the family computer. Does it look smaller a little they bit? They never changed the actual, no, it's actually bigger. It looks bigger a little bit. Oh, no, it looks smaller. You notice that they went all matte with this one. Yeah. Which I matte. like it that way. I don't like that glossy feel of the Xbox One controller. They added this one, this extra button right here, which that one don't have. Uh, right. The share button. So you can oh, share. Oh, yes. For whenever, whenever you take a screenshot in your yeah. game, you can simply like post that in, in Facebook videos, yeah. or Twitter, right? Did you know that the, play, the Xbox One controller also works on this? Oh, really? Yeah. It's the same price as the PlayStation 5. It costs around like $500. Exactly the same. But there's no difference for the disc because remember you mentioned in the PS5. Oh yeah, yeah. The PS5 you can play PlayStation 4 games backwards. This one can play backwards all the Xbox One games. It can also play 360 games, and it can also play regular Xbox games. Not a lot of Xbox games. But so that's the difference. So PS yeah. this, this has Sony. a lot of backwards, a lot. So in Sony it can only play PS4 games. Just PS4 games. And no, but not the PlayStation 4 VR games. It cannot work. And this one can't play the Xbox These... One Kinect games, you know, the, the camera dancing around. They, they got rid of that. But that's that's garbage. That's garbage. Right, but yeah. but even though, like, you know, some people would like to go back to their old games with yeah. their new consoles yeah. and see how the graphics change yeah. from those games. Yeah. So, like, I just wonder why they make the exhaust really, the, the, the holes of the exhaust really big. Yeah, Look, so, like, you see, there's a giant fan. And there's there. a giant fine. Um, I guess it's the, because. I guess right. to you know blow out that hot air as much as they can. Right. And they said that this console is very quiet. 
It's like it, when you play it, you're not gonna hear any sound at all when you're playing. I was gonna say like if you leave this Xbox uh, console open for let's say the whole day, you forgot to turn it off, right? Yeah. Will it overheat? No, never. So that's, that's it, a good point. It, that's it, one turns good point. Itself, it turns itself off and you're not gonna do anything. To exactly. It. That's one good point about it. So yeah. That's the purpose of this huge uh, exhaust. Yeah, it's never exhaust. gonna overheat. This it's is never gonna good. overheat if you leave it for the whole day. Yeah. Other plus points. Yeah. It's simple. It, you have much more space to put this uh, console. Yeah. I mean, it won't fit in a shelf if your shelf is really small. Yeah, never. But not even a PlayStation. Never, 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 never. Yeah, we're comparing it to the PS5. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, like, very good. Yeah, I mean, this is understand. I mean, this back in the day, you mm -hmm. could just place it sideways because the exhaust is like on its sides, on the back, right? On the back and the sides. Mm -hmm. This one's just top, and mm -hmm. I don't know about this side right in the bed. It can be your heater. I think this is the spot where people were joking around. They were blowing the vape. They were oh, vape they through it, and it was blowing out the vape. Oh, really? Yeah. They do a big one? Yeah, because people were lying on Twitter saying that the, the their Xbox Series X was overheating or something like that, and the smoke was coming out. Overall, we kind of talked about this one really fast. Yeah, really right fast. Because um, it's simple. Yeah, it's simple, and you can see it direct. I mean, it's very direct to the point. Very I like the controller. I will give this controller another A. To be able to do yeah, it's the same exact. It's the same so yeah. yeah, it still uses the regular jack, which I think the PS5 controller is the same too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can still connect your headphones, stuff like that. Yeah, like you said, if it's not a problem, never change it. Yeah, never change it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think they uh, just changed the, the arrow button for a change. <coughs> yeah, that's the only reason for that. I like the controller, this one. Over there, over this. Yeah. If you had to grade this one, would you grade this one? Um, this would be um, A minus. Yeah, and that would be like a what? A or A plus. A A plus. Yeah. Just for the look of it, just for the design. I'm not sure yeah. when we start playing it, but definitely much more sturdier because of the matte touch in it. Uh, yeah. The buttons itself is uh, vibrant for the buttons and the, the sheer button here. So, so what do you guys? You want to check out the gameplay on this one? Okay. I'm gonna wrap it up. Yes. Yeah, so let's wrap it up. Let's go. And here we are with some example games for the Xbox Series X. Starting off with Yakuza Like a Dragon, not to be confused with the movie, which both stories are not the same. See the beauty of walking along the streets of Yokohama. As you can see, you can go out and eat some food, enjoy the meals while you heal your health, of course, traveling through the underground tunnels looking for some secret items and stuff like that. When you suddenly run into random battles with crazy certain people all around the streets, the tunnels, and whatever places you're at. Oh, and the difference between the other Yakuza games compared to this one is that this one is a JRPG game. The style of play is exactly like the classic Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest games you probably played back in the day. And here I am performing a special team attack move. Come on, let's go! Throughout leveling, you could go and buy weapons and stuff like that. You could even go out and sing karaoke songs. Yes, karaoke songs. And that's pretty much it for now on the the game. Hope you guys like that one. So let's let's move on to the next one. The future I've seen in my dreams. So come on, let's go level up. And here is another game for the Xbox One which was also upgraded with the Xbox Series X. A game which arrived back then in 2019 called Gears of War 5 or what they call it now Gears 5. You can see that this game has been enhanced very well over the process with enhanced lighting, the graphics, including the ray tracing of this game showing off the beauty of what it is now. Search a place that's falling apart. I'll take care of this one. Check out that slice in that throat. Here's your action game full of gun shooting, head blown up, and stuff like that with explosions. A full on story between man versus the unknown. And there you have it Gears 5. So let's go on to the next game.
And here we are with another backwards compatible game which works on the Xbox Series X, an original Xbox game which came out in the year 2002 on the old Xbox which came out, yes, in fact, in 2001. See how crisp and clear and great how it looks on modern hardware. This is basically your arcade style rail shooter game you'll probably definitely enjoy if this is your thing. Okay, and since you saw the Xbox original and the Xbox One fully backwards compatible and looking really nice, let's show off the 360 as well. And what a great game it is! Till now, still fast paced, and bloody and body parts cutting apart just as it always has been. Ninja Gaiden 2, a game you should definitely try out, still looks awesome even though how old it is. Which came out in fact in 2008. Now let's bring out another game one more time to show off the graphics and how the beauty of the Xbox Series X still makes old games look awesome. Ryu, a great racing game called Forza Horizon 4. A game you should not miss out. If you love racing games, you gotta play this one. The game is in fact open world, fields, the roads, you can smash it to anything basically. And also, there are also race events. Once you run into a certain race event on the map, you go out there, race, unlock more cars. You can even find cars in certain areas in this uh, game, which is pretty dang awesome. I mean, what other great racing game is there? This one is a must play. Alright guys, and that was all of the Xbox Series X I'm gonna show. Uh, you saw the backwards compatibility of Xbox One, 360, and the regular Xbox, which came out 2001. Just wanna remind you because Xbox has this stupid silly name where it's Xbox Original and Xbox One, which you'll get confused thinking that's the first, but it's not. It's actually the third console. And we showed you the unboxing with me and John Lloyd and wonder if you guys liked it. Did you guys think you will buy it or what? Basically, you saw Yakuza 7. That's the only, I would say, the only game that's technically exclusive. It's ex technically exclusive for Xbox Series X because the PS5 doesn't have a update patch for it. And when the PS5 plays it, it has to be backwards compatibility with the PS4, so using the PS4 specs. But we also had another game called Watch Dogs Legion. I decided not to show that off, but this one is also enhanced with the Xbox Series X, but this is not exclusive, which this one is also available on the PS5. Whatever console you got, and if you're looking for a game GTA style and Watch Dogs, you, you missed Watch Dogs, so this is the GTA style game, get this one. This is actually pretty fun. And that's about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. The game cost about 500 bucks. Hopefully, I mean, the console costs about 500 bucks. Hopefully you'll be able to get it. And if you want to get the cheaper one, which is the Xbox Series S, that's about 300. And that's pretty good too, but it's only a 1080p machine. But it's f still fast. It can do 60 frames and stuff like that. So thank you very much, guys. And hopefully you'll see the next unboxing that we're going to be doing coming around soon. 